Hi guys and welcome to our Marion and Mum live show. I am Marion and this of course is my beautiful mother Noi. She is a trained chef. She is the most yes. amazing home cook that I know. Yes. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> and very humble. Yes. <laughs> Uh, welcome guys, we've got a really great show for you today. We are doing Kao Nio Mamoang, aren't we? Yes. Which is the classic, the iconic Thai dessert mango sticky rice. Yes. It's one, oh, all time fave, all time fave. And um, you know, this is generally one of those dishes that you guys would have had if you've come to Thailand. It's on every dessert menu, uh, you know, in a restaurant or, you know, so there's lots of street carts as yes, well. Street but well, you yeah. can make it at home. It's actually yes. pretty simple, isn't it? Yes. All right, we're going to get started. I'm just going to put some water on to boil. Um, and let's talk about the rice first. Yes. Because the key to this is the rice. Yes. Um, and what you guys are looking for when you're out shopping is glutinous sticky rice. Yes. Now, the name is a, might be a little bit confusing. Glutinous refers to the fact that it's sticky or glue-like. It doesn't mean it contains gluten or anything like that. Yes. Um, it's just a particularly starchy uh, rice and the texture of it when it's cooked is very sort of like it's just sticky isn't it's it sticky, sticky yes. and not, so not like normal rice not like normal rice so guys you can't use normal rice for this you've got to no. go out and get your glutinous sticky rice so yes. either say glutinous sticky rice or just sticky rice a sticky rice right, yes you Asian, can get in the supermarket yeah, so any, market, uh, anywhere Asian else grocers. There, anywhere. um now uh so this is just one that we've we've just a local brand that we've got here yes. but any any brand's fine yes uh now we need to soak this overnight don't we yes yeah so what we'll do is we'll put this water in here and then we'll just stand here and wait till tomorrow yeah <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> is that what we're gonna do yes no no it's all right we, we, got, we got some prepared earlier yes. um, all right but this is just to show you guys so you would definitely you need to soak this overnight um and then what you would do let's why don't you show everyone what, how we set how you set up the wok to cook uh, to wow. steam, yeah, to yeah. steam the rice. What so do? let's pretend that this has sat yep. overnight. Yes. So the magic of, of live Facebook. Yes. You got the so you use the, the, the tea towel. Yeah. Tea towel, just normal tea towel, yeah. right? You just lay it here, lay so it in the wok, like in, in, in the bamboo steamer. Yeah. Bamboo steamer you can get anywhere. And they're really cheap too, yes. bamboo steamers. Yes. And I, you know, this kind of size, what you need to do when you're buying your bamboo steamer is, is figure out what size wok you have yes. um, and then get one that fits nice and snugly just on top yes. of your wok. So mm -hmm. that's, this is a nice size, it's good for fish, good yes. for all sorts of stuff yes. this size. Okay, so we pretend, we've got our pretend soaked rice. So yes. that goes, you know, do you should, how do we put, put that into there, mum? What do we do? You just put the rice mm -hmm. in here. So you're just scooping that out, leaving yes. the rest of that water uh, behind, aren't you? Not water. Yeah. I'm just going to see. So, guys, we are live. So tell us, uh, tell us where you're watching from. We love to hear from you. Um, we have people that watch from all over, from Australia, from the US, from Asia. Um, we love to hear about you guys as well. Yes. Um, so, and yeah, let us know if you've got any questions. We can answer them now, or we can answer them after after the show as yeah. well. Yes. All right, so let's get back to After you put so, the rice in. So, how, so you've spread that out a little yes, bit too, haven't you? Don't, don't power it up. Just, just, just spread it up like this. Yeah. And you put cover a little bit. Cover like a little that, bit. Yeah. Like and, and like that. And you yeah. put the rice uh, And then you put the, the lid in. back on. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. And so how long will that take? About 35. 30, 30, 35 minutes. 30, 35 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And yeah. you can just tell by when you open it up. Yes. And then it's just like the taste test. It's yes. like spaghetti. You got to uh -huh. put it in your mouth and, yeah, and taste, taste it. Yeah, like a, like you cook with spaghetti or a noodle. You yeah, know? yeah. Just yes. bring it out and, yes. and have a taste. So, but thirty minutes is about. Yes. that's pretty yes. usual. Right. So let's see if we've got any questions so and far. Like let's taste. see. We've got. Um, let's. Ooh, we've got people watching from Switzerland. Oh, we've right. got people watching from Fiji. Yeah. And um, guys, why don't you tell us? So this is pro this. I would say this would probably be one of the most iconic Thai yes. desserts, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys let us know what is the iconic dessert or sweet dish from where you're from? We'd love to know what yes. it is. Um, if you've got a recipe, you could share that too. That would be yes. nice. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So rice is steaming now. What right. do we need to do next? Now, when uh, the rice steaming, yeah. So you can make the sauce. Yeah. So this this is, this is sauce. We'll go and a, a bit. Uh, a top of sticky rice when you're ready to eat. That's right. And with mango. 
So just so it's a, just so you guys aren't confused, there's two different coconut mixtures we're going to have to yes. make now. The first one is the one that you're saying, the, the one that we put on at the end. It's like the sort of last garnish of sauce, isn't it? Yes. That's this, la this first one. Okay, so how do we make that? So this is the coconut sauce for the this end. This one coconut sauce, yep. right? First. So do you want me to turn this on? Or? Yes. Okay, I'll turn that on for you. Yep. First, uh, coconut. Yeah. Coconut milk. So this is um, just a regular coconut milk. We're yep. using my um, Marion's Kitchen coconut yep. milk. I love it because I know what goes in it. <laughs> um, and it is just all natural yep. coconut and it is, has the most amazing flavor. I love it. So when you're, when you're buying, this is available in America, um, but when you're buying coconut milk, the biggest thing is the taste test. Open it up. You should be able to have a spoonful of it and go yum. That's that's how you know you've got a good one. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So coconut milk. Now, now what's, coconut, what's next? Add a flour. Yeah. So that's rice flour, rice isn't it? Rice flour. Yeah. And you put uh, sugar. So. And the salt. Yeah. Sugar and, and salt. A, and you just whisk all of that whisk up. Whisk all that first. That is such a cute little whisk, Mum. Yes. Look at that. You, so uh, cute. You whisk, uh, make sure the flour no lump. Yeah. Make sure they, they, they no lump first. Right. So we've got Catherine saying in New Zealand it's Pavlo, but Catherine, that's very controversial. I mean, you know that us Australians have been claiming the Pavlova for many, many years now. But, you know, I get maybe you can have the pavlova oh maybe not yep. no 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 you can't have it <laughs> you see that they all go smoothly okay now that's going go smoothly back. all right it's third two you can see that that the color start to change a bit it does that's start mean, to change a little that's bit that's mean it? ready so it's starting to get like a bit shiny isn't it yeah so and that's mean ready so marie is asking um what is the purpose of soaking the rice overnight is that to get it started hydrating uh no, this sometimes is, is sometimes they got too much uh, sticky. Uh, oh, there's part too of, much uh, starch. So yeah. if you soak it and you take away the so, a little oh, so bit, oh, yep. so you get some of the starch out of the rice because that's and, right because the water's all milky, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Milky a bit. So, you, yeah. so you're getting out some of the starch. Yes. Okay. Now you see that the salt start to ready. You see they really clearly start to so be. I'm just going to swap out this one for yes. for the one we've had made earlier and just get that warming up. Alright. Now you so see the sauce? Get, you so see, all, yeah, you so see the, the colour different yeah, now? Yeah, the colour is changing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's that too. That's, that's how you, you need it, okay? No more long than that. Just, just so like Sam that. is watching from Newport, Rhode Island and, and um, chocolate mousse cake. Now that sounds amazing. That sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Yum. Sounds so, good. Yep. Let's see. Who else has got Durian with sticky rice. Now that's a good one. Yes. Yum. That's a good one. So guys, everyone's letting us know about the iconic dessert or sweet dishes um, wherever they are. So wherever you are, let's let's hear about your iconic sweet dishes. So in Australia, we've also got um, uh, lamingtons as well. Yes. That's a good one, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. Goodness, I haven't had a lamington for ages. No, the sauce. We don't really, really get many lamingtons in Bangkok, do we? Yep. We should make some. Why don't you make me some lamington? Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the, so we, so you, so this is ready. Yep. So it's thickened up. Yep. That's and it's going to be like a, you know, the, the flavour of this is yep. coconutty, but then because mm, it's sweet and coconutty, but with the addition of that little bit of salt, yep. it's made, it, it's such a lovely flavor. So it's yep. just slightly salt. No, it's almost like a salty caramel. Yep. You know that salty caramel flavor? It's a little yep. bit like that kind of idea. Sweet, yep. but a little salty. It's great. The sauce ready. You see the color different. It turned to, you know, yeah. shiny and, you know. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's one of the coconut mixtures yep. we have to make, isn't it? Right. So there's another one we have to make too, isn't there? Yep. All right, so I'll bring this over. Now, so this is the coconut mixture you need to make to soak the rice in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, after okay. the rice is cooked. So you yeah. want, do you want to mix that in here? Is that for this, or you want to put? No, it's here, fine. Okay, yep. Yep. Okay, yep. So just mix it in, are you going to mix it in yep. here? Yep. yep, yep. Okay, do you want a fork or? 
Uh, yeah. Yep. So coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Let's see. Andrea was going to say, I beat you to it, Andrea. I beat you to it on the lamingtons. <laughs> Tim Tams as well. Oh, goodness. Wouldn't, I would just die for a Tim Tam. Wouldn't that yep. be good? And some salt. And again, with all that little bit of salt. And that salt's really just sort of adding yeah. and in, enhancing the sweetness, actually. Yep. So you, you start to, 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 you can see the two kind of really salt, you know? Ooh, I've got someone here mango saying mango sticky rice with coconut ice cream. Yum. Yes. Yum. I love coconut ice cream as yes. well. We should do coconut ice cream on the show. If you guys have any suggestions for recipes, um, please type them in because I make a big list up and every time you guys request something, it goes on the list. So um, we will get to it eventually. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, um, matcha chiffon cake in Japan. Yum. Oh, that sounds good too. All right, so you've just mixed that up. So, that, yep. so if you're joining us, guys, we're making mango sticky rice, that very iconic Thai dessert dish. Okay, so now what happens? We need to get the rice into here, don't yes. we? Yes. So, guys, this is some rice we had cooking while you were watching elsewhere. I swapped it around. Um, and this is, this is what your rice will look yeah. like once it's cooked. So, yep. Mom, how do we tell? We can see it's sort you of... Can, you, you you can see they cook with it all different. It's shiny and yeah. and it's and it tastes tender. Yes. So it's not hard. Yes. Um, it's just you oh, see the color they change when mm. they cook. And the color changes. Yes. Okay, so we take this out, don't we? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you want that in the bowl? Yep. Okay. We put yep. that in there. Yep. And now, so we use this coconut mixture. Yep. Now, what do we do with that? Yes. Pour this. Mm -hmm. Here. And this is this is this is the special trick, guys. So this is going to look too wet. Yeah. And the and the trick here, the secret tr um, trick, is that you actually need to let this soak. So you need to mix this through like we're doing now, um, and then cover it up and let it sit for about an hour. And that is what that's the real key to making a good mango sticky Listen rice. To the um, because that that rice is continuing because it's warm and you need to do this while the rice is warm yep. is continuing to cook and soak up all all of that coconut flavor okay. so you want to see the all the gold together yep. you just put that put your, your clean film on there clean film. let's see who else let's see who else we've got chatting to us today joy from botswana welcome thank you for joining us and Janet's saying trifle. Yes, I also love a trifle. And she's saying, sorry, Marion, but the pav belongs to the Kiwis. <laughs> no. I know. I know it does. I'm just, get I'm, 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 I'm d wishful thinking over here. When you got that, <laughs> you just cover the rice. Yeah. Right, like this. Yeah. That's right. Cover the rice. Right. Mm hmm like that. Great. And you, and so you put on a side when yeah. you... So how, how long, long does it just so repeat before you eat? Yeah, so but like an hour, an hour yes. is probably good because it kind yes. of soaks everything up. Yes. So you can see, guys, we've got one here that we've had soaking, and yep. this is this is the difference. You can see it's massive. So that mixture that I, we just were mixing was very wet. Yep. And uh, this mixture is very sticky. Yep. So all of that coconut milk has now been soaked up yep. into that into that rice. Yep. See how sticky that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what will happen as that rice sits there like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so yep. we've got, so if you're joining us guys, we're making mango sticky rice. We've done our sticky rice part. We've done our coconut sauce part. What's yep. next? Next, you're gonna place it up. So good. When you're ready, you yeah. just, do we need, what, you need to cut the mango, yeah, right? When you're ready, you just mm -hmm. cut to the mango okay. and, and, and uh, on the plate. Well, I'll get these mangoes ready for you. Good for family or, or the, Mm. Really come over. It's a great. It's a. It's actually a really great entertaining dish, isn't it? Because you can make all this stuff. Nothing has to be, you know, hot or you know anything like that. Yep. You can just make it all in advance. Yep. Okay. I need to put the, uh, the peel skin. in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So these are the mangoes, and you guys, you really want to get some good mangoes for this because the star of the show is. A really beautiful sweet mango that's going to yeah, make all the difference. This one, this one. Um, so let's get slicing on the mango. Uh, plate? Yeah, a bit plate here. Okay. Now, you Is this plate mango? okay? Uh, sticky rice. Oh, so you want to put first. the sticky rice first? Yeah. Right. Or you 
How, how would you like to do it? Okay. You don't want to mess up your dish. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see who else we've got. So Deb's asking for a Penang chicken. Emerald's saying, when are we going to get your Luxa packs in New Zealand? Uh, I hope one day very soon. Emerald, we've, we've, so for everyone in New Zealand, we have just launched my Marion's Kitchen kits um, in New Zealand. So you'll find them in your countdown, um, you know, in New World, Pack and Save. Uh, and yeah, we're very excited to be there. Yes. Okay, so you've put your rice down. Yes. And so before we get to the mango, guys, I've got a super, super exciting announcement. And we are going to do a very, very special Facebook Live this Wednesday with a very special guest. So um, Pi from one of the most amazing uh, Thai YouTube channels, I think. Hot Thai Kitchen is her YouTube channel. She's also a cookbook author, TV presenter, and she is coming in to cook with us. So I'm super excited. You can catch it 3 p.m. Bangkok time or that's 6 p.m. Sydney time, 1 a.m. California time, and 3 a.m. Eastern in the US. So a few different times there. Some of you might be getting up a bit early. Some of you might be staying up late, but it's going to be a fantastic show. Pi is amazing, um, and we can't wait to have her on the show. I hope to see you there. All right, so. Now, uh, now we've got that, and you need some sauce. Sawadee Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Alright, so now we are back to the mango. Yes. So let's show, show you show everyone your amazing mango cutting skills. Uh, okay. Uh, my, my move now a bit okay, so you move no the room for the um, Right, so uh, you right. make room for your mango. Okay. Now you peel the mango, you cut the end a bit yeah. off, a little end bit. bit off. And you peel it like this. Okay. Okay, so we've got people watching from Miami, cat is very excited about the kids coming to New Zealand. Thanks, Kat. I hope you enjoy them. Guys, if you're in the US, you can also find them in, um, in Walmart and a lot of other retailers as well. You can head to my website, marionskitchen.com, to find out where you can find them in the US. And, of course, in Australia as well. So, Give me another mango. Okay, you want another mango? So, you, so you're basically just peeling off that skin, aren't you? Yeah. So if you didn't want to be your danger mouse about it, you could do that on the chopping board, couldn't you, Mom? <laughs> Uh -huh. So you're just slicing above the seed, yeah, aren't you? Like that, okay. Beautiful. Oh, that mango smells amazing too. I can okay. smell it from here. Yum. Right. Annette is very excited about pie coming in from Hot Thai Kitchen. Awesome. I'm also excited. <laughs> so we've got our mango, we've got our sticky rice, and now finally we just want some sauce, don't we? Yes. Uh, yep. Sauce. Just on top of the sticky rice. On top of the sticky rice. Okay. Okay. So, guys, the recipe for this is on my website, marionskitchen.com. And also, if you're following me on Instagram, Marion's Kitchen is the Instagram handle. We're posting heaps of recipes on there daily as well. So now, you now the final thing is a little bit of crunchiness, isn't it? Crunchy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So why don't you tell everyone what this is? This. Uh, what do you call this nut? Uh, mung bean. Mung bean, mung yeah. bean. So these are like crunchy fried crunchy. mung beans. And yeah. it's, you can eat them as a, as a snack. They yes, sell you them can. as a snack yes, yes. here. So um, you can find these in a lot of Asian grocers. So yep. you're looking for the crispy, crunchy mung beans. And these little yellow... If, um, if sometimes you can buy no roasting. You can buy and roast yourself. Okay. You yeah. can do that way. The other way is just you can use some sesame seeds. Right? Oh, yes. You can do sesame <laughs> seeds. <laughs> That's yes. the easy way. Yeah. Okay, so you sprinkle those on. So you spring on, 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 a, on a sticky rice, not, not on a mango. So Emma's asking can I please have a shout out to my mum Sally hi Sally hi hi Emma's mum Sally hi. <laughs> all right so that looks amazing I am gonna have a massive spoonful right now so this is so this is the I mean this is the magic of this dish guys you get this like crunchy topping yep. plus the sweet mango and this and then the sauce and the coconut and all those flavors all together 
Ah, oh, and it just makes it beautiful, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Mm. You're the best, Mum. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she is the best. <laughs> All right, guys, so don't forget, Wednesday I'm with Pi from Hot Thai Kitchen here live with you guys, so don't miss out on that show. And then we will be back with you next Monday. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> See you next Monday. Bye. Bye.